Hello, welcome to Level Chain channel. My name is Claudio Fonseca. I'm a real pilot, and today we are going to talk about the ETOPS options that we have on the 737. This video is part of a series of video about all the 737 PMD options. As I know, we have a lot of them. I created a document. You can download this document on the video description below. And this document will give you all the options that we have on the 737 uh, with the link for the video on the right side inside this uh, green rectangle. So for today, we are going to talk about ETOPS, basically the ETOPS option, the dual battery package, and the ETOPS cargo fire system. So for this, we need to go inside our PMDG 737. When we go to the menu, CDU menu on the PMDG setup, aircraft, equipment, and then the page number 8 of 17 is called ETOPS. ETOPS is extended operations, is uh, the certification that the airplanes, they have uh, airplanes with two engines, is the certification that those airplanes with two engines, like the 737, they have to fly uh, more than one hour away from one uh, suitable airport. So that means they can cross uh, large parts of the ocean without having a backup airport or um, some uh, desert areas without airports and so on. So this gives the airplane clearance to go and to stay beyond one hour away from one airport. Okay, so if you select uh, the ETOPS options to yes, it's like your airplane has the certification and if you select it as no, your airplane do not have this certification. It doesn't really change much here on the simulator. This option is just that if you select yes, it will automatically change the other options that you have on the PMDG that will uh, maintain your airplane as a certified ATOPS airplane. And as an example, I will give you is the second option that we have on this list, which is the dual battery package. Usually the 737, it has one battery, but for ETOPS flight, it is a requirement that you have two batteries. So the option is to select this dual battery package to yes, then you can go all the way up to your overhead and you will see here that you have battery. This is the indication for the battery. And you also have here on top another indication, which is the auxiliary battery. And you can even check the uh, amperes and the voltage of both batteries. In this case, the main battery has 24 volts and the auxiliary battery has 28 volts. If we go to the CDU again, here at the bottom, and we take dual battery package to no, and then you go up there, you will see that you have the battery information, but you do not have the auxiliary battery anymore. Okay, the option on top now is TR1. Okay, so for you to check if your airplane is equipped with two batteries or not, you just come to the overhead and you check if you have auxiliary battery here on the top. This gives an extra option for the DC system here. So when we go down again, if we take it yes, now once again you can see the auxiliary battery there. So you don't have to check your system, you just look to the overhead, you will see if you have the dual battery package, yes or no. The other option, the third option that we have here is the ETOPS cargo fire system. Um, the 737 has uh, two 
uh, types of uh, cargo fire suppression system. Uh, some with only one bottle and some with two bottles. If you have a system with two bottles, this gives you uh, an extra margin and extended operation. That's why they call it ETOPS cargo fire system. And in this case, you have two bottles of suppressor to extinguish any fire in the cargo system. So the cargo system it detects smoke in the cargo compartment and then uh, you have agents that suppress the fire okay uh, eliminating the oxygen around the cargo area so if you have only one bottle of this agent you have uh, the normal cargo fire system if you have two bottles for this agent you have the ETOPS cargo fire system so you will not see any difference physically uh, on the simulator it will only happen in the system of course in the real airplane you will have to have uh, the second bottle of this agent there so the options they are yes or no and you choose between the single bottom uh, as no and the dual bottle as yes note that if you select ETOPS to yes and you change any of the next two options to no the airplane will be automatically out of ETOPS mode and is not going to be ETOPS certified anymore on the other hand if you take the ETOPS from no to yes both of the options below they will be automatically changed to yes so you do have the option to have an airplane that is not ETOP certified with dual battery package and ETOPS cargo fire system okay so you have the option to select no yes and yes okay you also have the option to select no no and yes no no and no or no yes and no but if you select yes for the first one the next two will be automatically yes because those next two they are part of the etops certification for your airplane so pmdg create a way for you to select select the etops airplane and already give you all the components that you need for an airplane to be ETOPS certified. So I hope now you understand why we have the option for the ETOPS there is to make sure that the next two they are uh, marked as yes and I hope that you understand now that you can have one battery or two batteries and you can have your uh, cargo fire suppressor system with one bottle or two bottles. If you like this video hit the like button below any doubt comment on the uh, below here and share this video if with your friends if you can i see you next time bye bye